Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name's Garrett, and welcome to the cage. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the teleportation rune in Breath of the Wild from the new DLC. Uh, it can be a little tricky to get to, so I thought, why not help you guys out a bit? So, first off, we're starting off at the cliffside near the, um, the tech area here. Let me show you on the map just so we get an, an idea here. Yeah, the tech lab. And we're going to be flying way out here to this shrine. Now, the other nice thing is this shrine seems a little daunting, but it's actually pretty easy to get to as well. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get a good charge here. This is going to, it's going to help me out. It's not required, but uh, it'll make things a little bit easier for us. If you don't have the charge jump, uh, you can just glide down to the entrance where you, the front of the labyrinth starts. But, again, we're going to just kind of circumvent all that stuff and just fly over. <laughs> Now, when I first came here, I, I just seen the shrine there, and I, this looked very daunting. And it can be, but it's also pretty straightforward on how to get there, too. I would also recommend that um, have a good set of climbing gear in case you end up down in between any of these things to easily get back up here. And also, any of the protections to guardians will help us out, and you'll see why here in a little bit, too. Run past him. Ah, crap. Let me get rid of this dude. Ah! And here's why you should always have a backup plan. Gets shot in the eye, gets rid of him here. Woo! It's like a pinata. But also, yeah, this is a great way to show you guys that we can just actually climb right up this wall here. And we'll move a little quickly because it looks like it's going to rain soon, and you definitely don't want to be trying to climb this while it rains. So you're going to climb up right towards the edge here. Or again, you could follow, just follow along the edge there and just hop on over and jump straight down. Give this ladder here a climb. Head up the stairs. And ta-da, we're here. So if you need to get to the shrine, obviously just go in here and you just walk inside and you're, you've are you gotten the spiritual stone from that. And the next spot we're going to go to is... I'm going to get on my guardian armor here. Because we will definitely need that. Did I say spiritual stone? Is that what they're called? Spirit orbs. My apologies. I couldn't remember. Too many games going on in my head. Eat up. Go and this little bit of a wind tunnel here. Just gonna jump down, work our way down. Now you got to be careful down in here. Sometimes these things will come alive. Oh no, it's a red sun or a red moon as well. Oh well. So the chest we're looking for here, I think it's straight ahead. It's not this one, but I'll get this one anyways. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, oh, there, somebody's alive. Oh, a lot of them are alive. Right here's the chest, though. It's got the EX on there. And ta-da. We got the travel medallion now. And this is the cool thing is that when you put it down, it'll actually let you teleport back to that spot. A uh, good example of when I would use this is 
uh, when I'm hunting for the scales for the different uh, dragons, I'm going to call them. Uh, it lets you put one down so you can easily get back there instead of hiking all the way back to them. So, hope that helps you guys out a little bit. I, it was a little co confusing at spots for me, so I know I can't be the only one out there. And, of course, if you have any questions anytime, feel free to ask. I'll be at the best I can. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. If you can, give the video a like. It does help us out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel. We have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys... Stay frosty.